So the bull here versus David Attenborough and Eddie Lenehan. They've each picked a country. I'm going to ask them 10 questions. I'll start with you, bull. You picked Uzbekistan. Okay, well, we get straight into it. In Uzbekistan, they speak Uzbek. Name two of the other 10 or so languages they speak. Tajik, Karl Kapak, Kazakh, Tatar, Koryomar, Bukhari, Dungan, Central Asian, Arabic, and Pirate. Okay, you don't have to name them all, but that's good. One point. Moving on, question two. Within the nearest 5 million, what is the population of Uzbekistan? 31,576,441st in the world. That's on the money, actually. Census 2013. Okay, I'm going to make these harder, because it sounds like you've done your research. What's the area in square miles, or kilometers, of Uzbekistan? I'll give it you the two. 172,742 square miles. 4.9% water. Okay, that's three out of three. I'm gonna go to five and then for the first round I'll do five with the other lads and we'll come back. What's interesting about the people who came from Uzbekistan originally? The first people known to have inhabited Central Asia were Iranian nomads who came from the northern grassland of what is now Uzbekistan. When was that? For an extra point? Sometime in the first millennium BC. Okay, one more and you'll have done five out of ten. I'll come back to you then. What did they call the territory between the Amu Daria and Siridaria rivers in the 8th century? The trans Oceana was the name. Jesus, man, you flew them. That's five out of five. Fair play to you. All right, Eddie, what have you picked? Burkina Faso. Okay, we'll start with you. Five quick questions. All right, Burkina Faso is a landlocked country in West Africa. Firstly, how big is it? I can give you the kilometres, because Bull is retarded. Fuck you! 274,200 square K. Okay, that's, that's actually right. On the money again. Do you let your phones out? No, no, don't have them. No, I have nothing. Just the fucking memory box. Okay, so it's surrounded by six countries. What are the six countries? Name three of them. Mali to the north. Niger to the east, Benin to the southwest, Togo and Ghana to the south, and Ivory Coast to the southwest. Okay, for half a point, what's its capital called? You named them all there. I'm getting dubious about how you're getting these answers, but. It's a hard one. Called Ugadoja. 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 I can't pronounce it either, so. I'll give you a point, though, how it's spelled. Right, for the other half point, what's its population? 17.3 fucking million. Alright, here's the one for you. This is the third question, I can't even remember. Be rattled with your answering, but... What's the calling code? Plus two, two fucking six. Plus two, two, six, okay, that's right. Well, here's one, good luck answering this. When was the Franco-British Convention? 14th of June, 1898. Are you trying to catch me out? I spent so much time researching every country in the world in case you asked me about them. But I asked you to submit what country you wanted to be tested on. Ask me about any of them. I don't give a fuck. Alright, so I'll ask you about you. You've learned about every country in the world. Yeah. And you're not losing to these messers. You're fucking lose. Why stay alone? Easy now, lads. You're fucking. Don't touch my lunchbox. Right, okay, here's a question for you, Eddie. Different part of the world. What's the fucking capital of Bhutan then? Shmarho. Jimpu. There's also Tongsa, Tajingang, Sandrup Gongkar, Paro, and Funtholen. Fuck you. Right, you have one left. What's the GDP of Bhutan, so? Do you know the average Kali has more hair on its head than the entire GDP of fucking Bhutan if each fucking dog hair was a pound? What do you mean? Dog has 7 billion hairs on its head. The GDP for Bhutan is 6.384 fucking billion. That's what I'm saying. Jesus Christ. Right, well you got through that. Five out of five. Well done. Whoopie fucking do. David, moving on to you. I hold some fate in your answers because I know you've travelled the world, so... I'd like my first two questions to be about Sirius. Somewhere I haven't been. The star system? Exactly. It's the brightest star in the Earth's fucking sky. Okay, Sirius is almost twice as bright as what star? Canopus. Okay. 
and with a visual apparent magnitude of what? It's almost twice as bright as it. Minus 1.46, straight up, easy. Sirius is derived from the ancient Greek, Sirius meaning glowing or scorcher. Bacon sorcerer. Bacon sorcerer? It's my interpretation. Okay, and um, how long will it continue to be the brightest star on Earth's night sky? About 210,000 years. Long time. My knees will be done by then, I'll fucking tell you. Be wheeled around in a buggy. A fucking jam jar. Just an eye and a brain. Stare. Learn. Alright, so what country did you actually pick? Name the country, I don't give a fuck, I'm like Eddie. Bull only knows about fucking Uzbekistan. I do not. So he says. Right, give me... Give me something really hard. Give me... Wales. Okay, Wales. I'll give you something from Wales. Here's one you're not going to be able to fuck, even if you know you're not going to be able to answer it, so... In Welsh there's a word, David, right, that translates roughly as St. Mary's Church in the hollow of the White Hazel near a rapid whirlpool and the Church of St. Tislio near the Red Cave. Have you any idea what that word is? I haven't a clue, man. Well, you've dropped that point. Anyone got... A I'll tell you. It's land via pool, gwyn, git, go, garo, quern, dra, boot, glandasilia, go, go, gush. That's it, yeah. As you said, St. Mary's Church in the hollow of the White Hazel, near a rapid whirlpool, and the Church of St. Tislio near the Red Cave. Yeah, that'd be it, because the bull gets a point. I knew it too. Well, I'll give you a chance at it. Land via pool, gwyn, git, go, garo, quern, dra, boot, glandasilia, go, 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 go. Okay, you got a two. Bonus point for the two boys, so... Dave, you got four out of five. Fuck you. Bull, I'm coming back to you now. I'm going to get you to pick an animal species. Give me midges. Midges? Flies. Where are they found seasonally or otherwise? On practically every land zone. Outside permanently arid deserts and frigid zones. So they can pretty much live anywhere humans pretty much live. That's it. Give me two categories of what midges are. Some types. One's a flebo tamamine, it's a sand fly. And Samulide, it's a black fly. Jesus, you know your shit, man. Any other types? Dixide, it's a meniscus midgy. Scatobusside, it's a dung midgy. Okay, I didn't need to know any more. I want the scientific classification. I'll give you two points. Get them three and four. Kingdom, animale, film, arthropoda. And what? Arthropoda. Okay, go on. Class, Insecta. Order, Diptera. Sobord, Nemantacera. Okay, I'll ask you one more question. I'll ask you on a film. Clueless. If you're clueless on films, that's your problem. No clueless, the film. Okay, I gotcha. Right, you can make this hard. What is the IMDB description, in short, for clueless? A rich high school student tries to boost a new pupil's popularity but reckons without affairs of the fucking heart getting in the way. He didn't say fucking in it, so I'm deducting you a point. Fuck you! Man, don't hit that again. My laptop isn't there. Eddie, I'll go with you on... What film do you want to be questioned about? Carlitos Way. The Al Pacino film? That's the one. 1993, crime drama. Okay, Carlito Brigante is based on, on what real life film? That's a trick question. Because he's not based on anyone. Except Brian De Palma's wisdom and fucking mind. Comprehensively describe the storyline to someone in five lines that they would give a shit enough to watch it. I'll give you two points for that because I'm getting tired. A right, Puerto Rican ex-con pledges to stay away from his former drug dealing ways. He finds himself being dragged back by his past connections and the naive machinations of his lawyer and best friend. He's a cunt. Hoping to raise enough money to get away from New York, Carlito Brigante takes on the job of running a nightclub, renews an affair with a dancer, but old associates and old intrigues suck him back into a world of violence and mistrust. Alright, I'll give you that fucking sly bastard. Okay, who plays Benny Blanco? Johnny Leguizamo. Easy. I'm gonna find some obscure answers. Who plays Walberto? Angel Salza. Who plays Frankie? Adrian Pasta. Tony Taglia Lucci was fucking Frank Minucci in real life. That is fascinating, man. He doesn't even have an IMDB photo. Fascinating. Anyway, Dave, what do you want to be quizzed on? 
he were behind, but I can't remember any of his scores, so. Um, Fort Knox. Okay, how many acres is it? 109,000. Straight up, 170 square miles, 441 km squared, base cover as part of Harden and Mead counties, and Bullet, the Steve McQueen film. Alright, where is it? Kentucky. No, exactly. Oh, coordinates, 37.8928 degrees north, 85.9747 west. What are you doing on your phone? I'm not. It's Filofax. I'm seeing when Bewitched are doing their reunion tour. So I can drive a fucking ice cream van at 90 miles an hour to the crowd. With the bell going. Fucking hell. Um, right, David. Give me a side history of Fort Knox. Second question. 1861 to 65, there was a civil war. It was in use. It was a settlement. 1865 to 1903. Then it was training grounds until 1918. Until 1925, Camp Knox. Then it was natural forest for three years. Camp Knox again. Three years, would you believe? No, I wouldn't, staggering. And then to the present, Fort Knox. The current commander is Christopher P. Hughes. I'm gonna pick something you can't answer on. I don't know. Okay, fuck you. I'm gonna find something. You won't catch me out again. I knew the Welsh one. I just wanted to give the lads a chance. You need your fucking help. You need it now. But we found an ambulance for you after what a douche your face. Is it? That's right. Greek mythology, Dave. Name the Trojan War heroes on the Greek side. Easy. Greek side. Ajax. Two of them. Achilles. King Agamemnon. Menelius and Odysseus. Trojan side, Aeneas, Hector, and Paris. Like the fucking Hiltons. <laughs> Alright, when was Christopher Willibald Gluck born? 2nd of July, 1714. He was a German guy, composed Italian French opera. Oh, I do love his work. Actually, it's terrible. I hate it. I would rather a factory of chimpanzees who only had express permission. Go on. To run their fucking chimp nails down chalkboards and rub knives off fucking plates. Then listen to Christoph, Willy Bog, Ritter von Gluck, and Mother Glucker. I quite like the echo at Narsi. Fucking idiot. Well, looks like we've had a three-way tie. Right, lads, last question. Okay, in three seconds each. I'll start with you this time, bull. Smart hole. What's 4,925 multiplied by 86,921.3? Easy. 428,087,402.5 You fucking wizard. What's the tan of 4, Eddie? 1.1578212235 If I remember. Alright David, an easy one for you. What's 2,586 divided by 95.6 plus 5? Uh, 32.050209205 I wasn't finished. Multiply by fucking 500,298.333. That would be 16,034,666.2376. The devil's number in the middle. Isn't that astonishing what nature offers up? Right, lads, you've been fucking terrible. So that was the end of the quiz. No one won at them. I'm going to keep the piccolo tomatoes I had as a prize. Give me one of them. I have the lunch. You promise. Two pints of vodka in your snack bag. See you all now. Thank you. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs>